Welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video, I am going to be filming. Oh, I don't even know how to start this video. I've been wanting to film this video for ages. I've gone to film it and I've just kind of bottled it. Um, but I just want to film this video because I wanted to get it out there and I want to raise awareness i want to spread awareness i want to talk about it because it's not something that should be bottled up inside and i don't think like it should be hid away like, like the conversation because this, you know um and i wanted to talk about mental health mental health depression suicides everything um basically i just wanted to talk about it because obviously i have um what's the word I'm trying to say I, I'm dealing with it well I'm dealing with grief but I have I have like anxiety and uh, mental health issues myself but um I just wanted to talk about suicide and I wanted to talk about it and spread awareness because I have mentioned this briefly in a, one of my last videos um, about my brother who passed away last year and took his own life but I wanted to make a video all about that I wanted to talk about it and just sit down and sit, tell everything, tell everything that happened and just hopefully help someone out there who watches this video. So if someone clicks on this video and um, watches it and thinks, God, look what it's done. Look what it does to someone. The families that you leave behind when someone takes their own life it is just really heartbreaking. And I just want to help some people. I just want to help people. I just want to get it out there. I just want to let people know that there is help. And if you look for the help and you find it, people will help you. You've just got to. You've just got to reach out and you've just got to let people know, and just say, "Listen, I'm struggling. Um, I need some help. Can you help me?" Um, because there's just no shame in asking for a bit of help. Seriously, there's not. And I just want to make, I just want to spread more awareness so that people will get the help that they need and um, I just, yeah, I don't really know, I'm just kind of rambling on because I'm kind of nervous to film this video but um, I just wanted to talk about it because I just feel that it should be spoke about and um, yeah, so basically in case anyone didn't know, my brother passed away last year um, yeah, my brother passed away last year. He said he took his own life. Um, we didn't know that Philip, my brother, was um, depressed. We didn't know he was feeling this way. Um, we didn't know he was sad. We didn't know he was down. We didn't know anything. When someone is suffering from mental health issues, depression, or anything like that, um, they don't generally talk about it and they don't really tell anyone the way that they're feeling. They just bottle it up inside and hide it away and they may seem happy they may seem happy to you they may be laughing and joking but that doesn't mean they're not sad so that doesn't mean they're depressed not depressed you know just because like i'm happy now i'm smiling i could be sat here laughing cheering cheering away laughing away i could be smiling away and you would think god she's so happy she looks really happy but you don't know what's going on in my head you don't know what i'm thinking I could be thinking all sorts of things, but I'm not going to tell anyone. I'm not telling anyone about it. But you just don't know. So what I'm trying to say is that I urge people, if you're watching this now, please go and reach out to a loved one, your friends. Just, you know, ask ask them, are they okay? Are they doing okay? Just let them know you're there if you ever, if they ever need someone to talk to. And just let them know that you're there for any shoulder to cry on. It doesn't matter when, where, what time, you're always going to be there. And people just need somebody to lean on. They need a friend, a family, it doesn't really matter. It could be anyone that you've not, never met before. You could come onto the internet and use a platform like Twitter, Instagram. I've met a lot of nice friends, mummy friends on Instagram and I feel that I could speak to any one of them if I was feeling a bit low, if I didn't feel like talking to my friends or family, you know, um, just stuff like that and 
you know, there's, there's a lot of awareness that needs to be brought to light about suicide and mental health because it's happening more a lot at the moment and everyone, one person every day, I don't really know the, the ins and outs and the facts of how many people we lose a day to suicide, mental health, depression, but I'm assuming it's a lot. Um, but yeah, so back to my brother. We didn't know anything about him being depressed or sad or anything like that. Um, but he was going through a hard time. He had some issues. He was a gambling addict. We helped him get right, we helped him get better. Um, and we, he, he went to um, like the meetings to help him and stuff. So we just assumed that, you know, he'd been there and, and he, was, he was getting better and he wasn't gambling anymore. A few years passed. He started gambling again, but we only we only found out after like a few months down the line, um, and his girlfriend broke up with him. He didn't show any signs of being like you know clinically depressed or anything like that. Yes, he was sad because you know what person isn't sad when they've just broke up with someone, but he just he didn't he didn't act like he was like you know really like unwell or depressed or anything like that um, and obviously I didn't notice because I don't live like my brother he, my family they live in Manchester now they're in Liverpool so I didn't I couldn't obviously see hands on myself that anything was wrong um, but yeah just out of the blue my brother was due to go back to work um, and he'd left for work at 5am because he he was working an early shift and my mum was asleep downstairs on the sofa um, and he must have woken her up grabbing whatever he was grabbing, I don't know. And he told my mum, don't worry, it's just me. Go back to sleep. I love you. And he went to work. Like my mum, like everyone just assumed he went to work as normal. Um, and then I think it got to like 10 o'clock at night and he hadn't come home. Now I didn't know this because at the time I was like 20 something weeks pregnant so no one like told me or anything. Um, but yeah, so um, Philip's work had rang to say that he hadn't turned into work. And obviously he was in work at like five, six, 6 a.m. He should have been due to be home like, I don't know, lunchtime, afternoon time or whatever. But he obviously he didn't come home and he didn't turn into work. So that's when my mum started to worry. So she rang all his friends, like contacted them through Facebook and stuff. And then um, obviously no one had seen him, no one had heard from him. And we couldn't get through to his mobile because his mobile had been cut off because obviously he was in a lot of debt and he didn't pay his phone bill. So we couldn't get hold of him. Um, and my mum assumed that you couldn't report someone missing until they were missing for 24 hours. Otherwise she would have reported them missing there and then. And I think to this day she feels like so bad and so guilty that she could have maybe potentially saved him if she would have rang the police sooner. But I think she brought out on Facebook that he'd not, that he'd been missing. And if anyone had seen him, please contact us and let us know where we, like, you know, let us know as soon as possible. And everyone shared it, it had like over a thousand shares, everyone was wondering where he is. And then obviously the next day she reported him missing and the police put it up on their like social media pages and stuff and um, went searching for him. And I think within an hour after the, within an hour after like the police went searching for him and stuff, because I came down, I only found out the next day because obviously my sister told me and I was a bit really upset that no one told me sooner that he'd, he was missing basically. But no one wanted to worry me because I was heavily pregnant and you know, they didn't want to worry me anything in case it was nothing. So obviously I went down the next day, me and James, we went down, we went looking around everywhere for him and in the car and literally the place where the police were looking and he was found 
I was there five minutes prior to him being found. So if I would have looked in the right place, then I would have found him myself, which makes me feel a bit sick thinking about it. But then also, like loads of thoughts went through my head, like if we'd found him sooner, maybe we could have stopped him. I don't know, but um, anyway, so he was found. Um, and I had gone to Subway with James. We'd gone to get food, like, right, let's get some food. Um, and as I came back, everyone outside, everyone that was at my house, like all my family and, and stuff, were all in the garden. Like my mum, I could hear my mum still hysterically crying. Now I didn't know at this point that, that it was anything bad because I didn't even think the worst. I didn't think that he was, he'd, gone missing and he'd done something like this I just assumed he'd run away because I don't know um but yeah um so I'd come home and I was walking over to the front door and my dad came storming out and he just said to me that they found him and they said he's dead and I collapsed to the floor and in that moment, it was the worst moment of my life because I never would have, I never imagined that this would have happened. I never would have imagined that something like this was going to happen. And when my dad said that he was dead, I just, I didn't know what to say. I just broke down. I started to cry and I literally collapsed to the floor and I just screamed, no. <laughs> And then um, I managed to come round, get myself back up and I went into the living room and we sat down and, and that's when the police told us that they'd found his body in a woodland, like in the woodland area, in a woodland area, a dog walker found him. You just don't think that someone you love, your family member, anyone would ever do something like that. You just never imagined it. And just thoughts ran through my head like, why, why has he done this? Was he really sad? We didn't even know. I'm his sister and I didn't even know that my own brother was sad and depressed and he felt so low that he wanted to take his own life. literally was the worst day of my entire life. The only thing that I could think at that moment was he's not going to get to see his nephew. He's not going to get to be an uncle and he was so excited to be an uncle. He was so excited. If only he would have just asked someone, told someone asked for help he might have still been here today fighting battling his demons and getting on with his life and being happy again but he just obviously didn't think he just thought that that was the only way he would ever be happy was to let go and <sighs> when they found him they found bag on him and he had clothes and stuff in and he had food and water and stuff was found with him and um two notes he'd left a note for me and my mum and my family and he'd left one for his girlfriend his ex-girlfriend I have not read them um I don't think I want to but I kind of my, my dad told me a little bit of what it says and it just said that he was sorry and he felt like he was a burden on the family and he's sorry for everything and stuff and for getting us like into debt and things. And it just makes me so sad because my own brother didn't feel like he could speak to someone, anyone, just tell them how he felt. And we didn't even see the signs and like 
a few weeks prior to him taking his own life he actually attempted an overdose and he took himself straight to the hospital because I think he must have like instantly regretted it or something and do you know what the hospital didn't even do nothing for him um we was aware the nurse that spoke to him or something when she when they went to the trial or whatever it was in the court she said the reason why family wasn't contacted was because he's a grown man and she didn't feel that that we needed to be told i don't know he's a grown man and or whatever and i, I just think that's pathetic that's ridiculous if someone has tried to take their own life you don't just hand them leaflets or you don't just say you know you, if you want to speak to someone obviously they're gonna say no but you you either should have got him help anyway i just think it's i just think it's disgusting and there needs to be there needs to be more done then there needs to be something more done about it like you know there needs to be more help my mom my mum has tried committing suicide twice. I myself, when I was younger, tried to take my own life. You know, and we got help. Um, but my, it was just unfortunate my brother never did. And, you know, when he, when he went to the hospital after he took an overdose, that was him crying for help. That was his cry out for help. He wanted someone to help him, but no one, no one would help him. If someone says to you, are you okay? Do you need, you know, do you want to cuddle? Do you feel, do you want to talk? They're going to say, no, I'm okay. You've just got to keep at it. You've just got to get there before they will spill out to you. And I just think more could have been done and he could have still have been here today if, if that was the case. But it's not. And it just breaks my heart. It's so sad and I miss him so much and I just wish that I could have helped him but anyone watching this please if you're feeling low if you're feeling down and you're feeling sad and you're feeling bad but thinking bad thoughts and you want to you know you think the only way out is is to take your own life it's really not honest to god it will get better i promise you now it will get better i thought that my mum did too and now you know we both got help and we're both really happy i've got a son now she's got a grandchild you know really happy and honest to god it will get better you just you need to get help because there is help out there for you for anyone um and you shouldn't feel ashamed to ask for help because that's what people are there for to listen to you to help you you know it doesn't matter who you tell or who you ask just ask someone and if you feel that someone is feeling a bit distant from you and they're showing signs of the feeling they're looking a bit low or whatever just ask them if they're okay give them a hug you know let them know that you're there and you're there to help them if they need it it's just so important like it's easy to miss the signs it's easy to not know what people are going through because you might think oh look at their instagram pictures they look so happy but behind those tiny little squares they might not be but yeah i just wanted to make this video today just because a lot's going on at the moment and it just seems to be a lot of people who are sadly taking their own life and I just want to spread some awareness about it and it's not even talked about at all I want it to be talked about so if you if you're watching this video please share it tell your friends you know just share it <sighs> if this video helps at least one person then I will be I will be really happy because there is more to life honestly the pain and that it causes when you when you do that when you take your own life you know the the families you're leaving behind the children your mums your dads your sisters your brothers your aunties your uncles your best mates you're leaving them behind and it's leaving holes in their hearts and it's so horrible 
my brother was always happy he was always happy he was always smiling he loved singing he loved dancing whenever he went to parties he would always be up dancing singing he was always making people laugh he was just always laughing he was so funny but just deep down inside he was really hurting he was really sad <laughs> But yeah, um, I wanted to make this video and I do apologise if it's, obviously it's a very sad video and it was really hard for me to even just sit and talk about it. Um, but I just wanted to talk about it and get it out there because I'm not ashamed to talk about how my brother died. I know that people are very, um, like what's the word, stepping on eggshells, a way they can speak to me about it. Honestly, you can talk to me. It doesn't, you don't have to be like, oh, you know. I know that some people are very like, I just can't even think of the word. You know what I mean? Like when, um, obviously, it's like a raw subject to talk about, so they feel a bit like, maybe you shouldn't talk about it, but you should, it should be spoken about. And I will tell everyone and I want to help everyone and it should be talked about, it should be spoken about, it should, people need help, people need the help and it's happening too much at the moment, it's happening a lot and the people are taking their own life and it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be the case, that shouldn't be happening. I don't even know how to end this video. <laughs> but um, yeah, please like and share this video, um, let's, let's let's spread awareness about mental health let's raise awareness about suicide um please you know get the help if you need the help honestly there's help out there for anyone for everyone please don't feel ashamed to ask for help because that's what it's there for but yeah um i hope this video does help someone if it helps at least one person then i will be really happy but um yeah <laughs> i will see you in my next video